All right, so apparently Target is, I guess, getting in some more bluey stuff. So you know what that means. But yeah, apparently I saw some posts of people and they were finding like new bluey playsets at Target again, which to me is kind of crazy because as you can see right here, this one has like so much of the older playsets we've been seeing. So I'm not sure how stores are actually getting in newer stuff when they already have so much older stock, but I mean, at least they have something at all. I still remember the days when most stores had nothing, so I guess it's an improvement. And also, what happened here? Is there like something missing? Or is it just like open or something? Huh. So I'm looking at this one in the back and it looks like this one is missing the little bingo cutout. I don't know why people keep taking the cutouts, but that's interesting. All right, so it looks like the store just opened. They open at eight and it's basically eight right now. So basically, it looks like I'm the only one in here. There's a few others who just came in, but I'm just gonna go look at the toys and see if they restocked overnight or something. So I just took a peek at the Hot Wheels and honestly, they really didn't have anything good. It was just the leftover stuff from the previous cases and loads, but they do have some of these model cars and I normally don't collect these model cars because honestly, my wallet would just explode. But I have to admit this Lincoln is pretty sick. This is basically my dream car right here. So I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these. And of course, here's a look at the bluey section. So you can see there's not too much going on. I noticed they don't have any pull time play sets, but I assume hopefully they're gonna put something else there like one of the newer sets that's coming out because I have seen some posts of people finding the brand new play sets and stuff. And personally, I haven't seen any of the new new stuff yet, but I guess we'll just have to keep looking and maybe one of the stores I'll go to will restock with it by chance. So we'll just have to see because I have a big day ahead of me and we're gonna hit a lot of places. So there's gonna be a lot of chances. All right, stop number two, Walmart. So I just randomly decided to look at that clearance stuff because I was just curious and they just happened to have something bluey related. <laughs> but yeah, it's only $13. I mean, it's basically half off. So that's basically a steal. So I'm wondering why this like eight pack is on sale because normally they sell really well. And I'm looking around and I guess they don't have any more left. I assume this was the last one and they're trying to get rid of it. I have no clue why, but I'm just looking at the section and everything's just kind of all over the place, but it is admittedly pretty well stocked and they still got a lot of these little sets. They got like the scooter one. They also have this Unipony one, which is missing the haystack for some reason. Like who took the haystack? What, what were they able to get out of that? I'm not sure why they would take that of all things, but hey, it's Walmart. All right, so I just checked out and it turns out that when they rung it up, they actually made it half of the half price and instead of being 13, I actually got it for six and a half dollars. I mean, for eight figurines that are brand new in the box, that is like a total steal. They still got quite a few items, but there's nothing new and wait a minute. Oh shoot, never mind. There actually is something new. I swear, whenever I say there's like not something, that thing appears. Huh, how funny is that? But yeah, this is like the only new thing I see though, but that's crazy. I actually didn't think they would get these in so fast. So at the time of recording this, season three hasn't wrapped up just yet, but I don't think this is based on a Bluey episode. As I joked on my Twitter, this appears to be Bluey and Bingo stealing a bus to go to Chunky Chimp World, but honestly, I'm not sure if this is based on an episode or something, but anyways, it is pretty cool. And also, I wonder, have Bluey and Bingo ever worn shirts before? I just remembered that they actually do have stuff at Party City, so I decided to just walk into this random one. I thought they would have like a couple party favors, or, like bags, but apparently they have a whole freaking section dedicated to Bluey, so I guess I'll just have to buy everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they actually have way more than I was expecting. I just saw those bags online, but I didn't even know they had all this other cool stuff. But yeah, this is overall 
a very neat surprise because I was expecting basically nothing. These people or the cashiers probably gonna think I'm a lunatic or something when I come up there with all this bluey stuff. Oh God. So I, a teenager with no kids, just went to Party City and got a whole bag of bluey party stuff that I probably won't use. Am I crazy? Well, honestly, I don't blame you if you think that. So I didn't see this at the other Walmart I went to, but in this one, they actually have the clearance stuff alongside the other toys. As you can see, the multi-pack here is also $13. I'm not sure if it'll ring up at $6.50, but over here you also have the Unipony figurines, which are basically half off. And honestly, I'm not too surprised about these because based on what I've seen, these weren't the most popular. And even down here, you got some other sales. You got the scooter figurine on sale. And you even have the four packs on sale, but of course, I don't see any of those because they're already so popular. But I'm not sure why they're putting so many blue toys on clearance, but that's kind of interesting. I wonder if they're getting ready for the new stock they're expecting. And also, I noticed this too. They actually have a little stack of like the boxes they come in. I've never seen the boxes, the bluey toys come in, but that's actually pretty interesting. And on top they have some of the garbage trucks up here. So that's actually pretty interesting. Also, I've seen these on Amazon a lot, but it turns out this store also happens to have some more bluey books. So that's always a good thing. So I'm at another store and I'm kind of excited now ever since I realized that they're actually getting the new stuff in. And over here, it looks like they don't have too much. And uh, oh shoot, up there they... Is that the new... Is that a new four pack? Oh shoot! That one's actually pretty cool. Bluey's got a kind of crazy smile right there, but they actually have Jack and... What is that? Pretzel? And they actually have Mackenzie. You know, I was wondering when they were going to make a Mackenzie one because it felt like they took forever, but I'm surprised they actually made him. It took so long, but he looks kind of weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. But um, yeah, I'm actually stoked. This looks pretty awesome, or dare I say lit for a better lack of words. <laughs> gonna be a lot of change. Alright, so yeah, it looks like this one does have most of the older stuff as I was expecting because a couple of the other stores did too. I don't know. I assume this one will probably get more new stuff when they get rid of all this stuff, but yeah, because this one's already stocked up to the brim with like all the older stuff, I doubt they're gonna have any of the new new stuff. If you look at the sides, you can tell these are the older ones, but yeah, we're still going to hit a couple more stores though, so we're not out of luck just yet. <laughs> yep, here we go again, right? Another Target and this one has a really small section. As you can see, it's just that little part right there. They don't have too much, although they have a couple of these garbage trucks. And up there, as you can see, they don't really have any four packs. They're probably gonna get in the new ones, but of course they don't have any right now. And interestingly, they also ran out of Peppa ones too, which is actually kind of crazy. And I just realized that the Peppa ones are cheaper than the bluey ones, but I can't see I'm too surprised by that. So yes, I'm back at another Walmart, and as you can expect, they really don't have as much as Target. In fact, I don't even know where the Bluey section really is because it's really sparse. Although they just have a whole army of talking Bluey plushies over here. I have no clue what happened to those sets, and I have no clue what's going on over here. Looks like Chloe's having some issues. <laughs> Oh no, Chloe. Chloe, get out of there. It's not safe. Don't stay there. <laughs> um, okay? 
All right, so I'm actually at another Target and it's a brand new day. The store just opened and I looked at the Hot Wheels and they basically have nothing even though they literally just opened a second ago. But looking at the Bluey section, I'm not sure when they're supposed to restock because I assume they do it overnight, but I also know they sometimes do it in like the afternoon and maybe that's when this store does it because it looks like they don't really have that much stock although they have a couple things on the shelf and as you can see it's mostly just the same old stuff we've been seeing although I should note that there are quite a few empty pegs at this one so I assume that this one might be getting in the new stuff soon and maybe later on this trip I'll come back to this one but we'll see about that so I just got some of the Matchbox cars. As you can see, there's actually a little variant. This MR2 has the pop-ups closed and this one actually has it open. I'm not sure why they did that, but over here in the bluey section, they have, well, they're actually quite well stocked. They got some of the older play sets and like the car and stuff. They also got a lot of plushies. They have a bunch of these play sets up here, but more importantly, down here, they actually have some of the newer stuff. They have the bus and they actually have the schoolhouse. That's actually pretty cool. It's actually a decent sized set. And up here, I don't think they have the new four pack though. Yeah, as you can see, it's all just the older stuff. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool seeing the school play set because this is the very first time I've ever seen it. So that's a really neat find. But unfortunately, I don't have the car with me. I'm taking the public transit right now and I'm just kind of going around so unfortunately I can't take this with me because I just have like a tiny backpack but hopefully I could find another one later when I have access to the car. All right so I'm heading to a Target right now. It's actually about to close. It's almost like 10 and that's when the store closes and I just thought since I was on the way to go somewhere else I might as well stop it here and see if they have any bluey stuff and thankfully I do have the car this time so if, if I see the place that I'm gonna get it. And uh, yeah, they don't have it, but they're probably gonna get in soon. But yeah, I'm pretty sure all of the stores are gonna get them in eventually. So I'm not too worried about not seeing it. And also that's a very strange looking Bluey. See, look, they're just best friends. There's no rivalry at all. At least I don't think so. Watch, there's going to be like a gigantic brawl between the two when the store closes. <laughs> that would be funny. So starting today, and yes, we're starting another day of doing this. I'm going back to more targets to go see if any of them happen to have that school set. And as you can see, this one doesn't have the school set, but of course, they're probably going to get it in like right after I leave. And as you can see up here, it's mostly just the older four packs. And they also got some of the smaller play sets and Muffin is missing in action which is honestly quite in character but yeah a lot of these toys tend to get like picked at and have parts stolen which is a shame but yeah I guess we'll just move on to the next location and maybe we'll find Muffin there because she isn't here. Ah, so I'm at Walmart looking for cars and they actually do have a couple of these larger packs for only $13 but I'm honestly not going to get any more because I don't need so many of these. So I'm going to leave these for someone else to enjoy. And over here, they actually do have a couple of nice four packs. Most of them, I think, are just Bluey and Friends. I know that one isn't the most popular. I'm looking back here and yeah, that's basically the only one they have. They don't have any of the family sets. And over here, you can even see that they just put all of the bluey plushies in the Blue's Clues bin. I guess this is for all the times they dumped Blue's Clues plushies into the bluey bins because I know that happens a lot, but this is the first time I've seen the reverse happen, so I guess it goes both ways. Lucky always gets the short end of the stick, I swear. Yep, still no schoolhouse. I'm surprised, of course, it was just that one location that had it where I couldn't buy it because I couldn't take it with me. But yeah, now that I can take it with me, none of the stores have it. Alright, so this one is actually a normal size store. So 
Let's see. Yeah, the section is still relatively small and it's this part's just like completely disconnected from the top here and yeah, once again, they don't really have it here either. It's kind of strange. I feel like a lot of the bluey sections we've been looking at lately have been relatively small. I'm used to them like being so large, but maybe it's just the area. I'm not sure. But yeah, obviously there's no schoolhouse here, so we're moving on once again. Gosh, I can't believe I'm spending this much time and effort just looking for one bluey playset of all things. This is getting crazy, but you know what? I do find it really entertaining just for the challenge alone, so it's all right. All right, so oh my goodness, they actually have it! After all this time, and this one is missing the stuff on the top, but anyways. Oh wait, wait, that one's not missing anything. Are, are there multiple variants? Wait a minute, are there two different ones? So this one is Calypso School playset, and this one is just a school playset? What? Why does this one have 9 pieces and that one has 10 pieces? I didn't even know there were variants, but I guess I'll get the one with more pieces, but... Yeah, that is so cool. They actually have it after all this time. You know, you've probably been watching the video and I've been to like a thousand stores that didn't have this. And yes, of course, I do have the car now, so I actually can get it. And as a bonus, it appears that things come in bunches. They just have four packs of the new school friends, or new school friends, sorry. I'm so excited I can't even pronounce my words correctly. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna get an extra one to open, so this was an amazing score. And basically, my day's complete now, and as far as I know, they don't have the one from the show. I don't know if that one was taken or if they just haven't released that one yet. But overall, I'm so excited because... We finally got the school friends Calypso School playset. I don't know why I'm so excited over a bluey playset, but hey, the challenge is complete now, so I could finally go out peacefully. Well, looks like all these tents I got from breaking up that large build is gonna finally come into good use. Well, to be honest, I'm not used to stories having happy endings, especially ones in real life because I usually just get shut out when I do stuff like this. But to my surprise, I guess this journey is going to have a happy ending because I finally got that school playset. I was actually considering getting the other variant, but honestly, I don't have that much money to burn, but maybe I'll get it another time. And I got an extra school friends, schoolmates playset because these figurines are awesome. And yeah, overall this had a excellent ending, so that was pretty cool. All right, so I'm back home now. As you can see, we got the little table I open stuff on. And as you can see, I got this wonderful bluey four pack and I'm just gonna get it open real quick. And I chose this one because the other one was in decent shape, but the characters didn't really look that great. Like they had a bunch of like scuffs and stuff when they were making them in the factory. I know that tends to happen a lot, but thankfully this other one I got, the characters actually look pretty nice. They don't have any of those like scuffs or scratches that a lot of the figurines tend to get. And oh boy, here comes the fun part. We have to wrench these things out. Oh, come out, Jack. Oh. I'm really surprised they actually made Pretzel because he did get some focus in Calypso, but he's not really like a major character. If anything, I would be surprised if most people actually knew who he was. But I do think it's pretty cool that we are starting to get a lot more of like side characters and characters that aren't the main healers. There's just something about him that looks a little bit off. I can't really put my finger on it, but it's just a bit off for some reason. But overall, I'm just really thankful we even got a Mackenzie figuring at all because I feel like it took them quite a while. But there he is, and now we can put him with the rest of his friends. But yeah, overall, I don't have too much to say about this pack, although I do think it's still one of the best ones. 
because overall we do get a lot of side characters like I believe Mackenzie and Pretzel are new ones to this set and I think they released Jack in like one of those small one packs with an accessory but I didn't even see any of those in stores and I'm not even sure if we got them in this country so this is actually my first time seeing Jack which is pretty cool and of course we do get a bluey figurine because that's like the rule and I don't I think I've seen this version before, so even though we do get a Bluey in this pack and that's probably gonna annoy some people, it is a unique one that hasn't been released before, so overall, I'd say this pack is pretty cool and it has a lot of good variation, especially if you want to get some more characters in your collection. So yeah, as you can see, this is the rest of my figurine collection. So you can see I got way too many Bluey duplicates because once again, they stuff a bluey figurine into basically every playset out there almost. And as you can see down here, we got some of Bluey's friends. Of course, I added some of the newer characters we just got. And right here, I have Mackenzie. And I think I'll just put him on the bench right here next to Snickers. Just gotta kind of mind that little issue over there. But yeah, with that said, that's basically all I got for now. Apologies if the video got a bit too long, once again, because it always does. But I hope it was interesting enough, and until next time, BMB Studios will be signing out. I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye everyone.